also from Titan Comics, I got to read Mono number one. I had no idea what to expect from this. It really starts with it made it sound like we were going to see a monkey man during World War II fighting wars, and I'm like, I don't know what to expect from this. Capstone, which I reviewed also, was really good. I'll give it a try. It's really interesting because it starts with an older gentleman who's basically reminiscing about the past and all these stories about his friend. And his friend turns out to be this, what the public think is this sort of ape-like creature, superhuman thing. And as he's trying to debunk that by reading through an old journal that was left to him. What I got out of this was, yes, this does take place during wartime, but it's almost like we have a berserker wolverine fighting in a war. He doesn't have the claws or anything, but that's just the mentality he has, and he's taking on armies. And he, in this specific story, he's supposed to be covert. He's found out, so he just goes you know, berserk and, and takes on an army. And it's really interesting. I didn't think I'd like this at first. I enjoyed it. I was really impressed. The art was was okay. I'm not usually the guy that notices the art. I like, like the story. The art was pretty good. I think it went with what was being told because a lot of it was being told in the past, so I did enjoy that. Um, I'm going to recommend it. I'm curious to see where this is going to go. I like the new character that they introduced. I'm not exactly sure how long he's going to be able to around to be exist, but you never know with this character what they're going to do. They might even bring him into the present time, current time that we're seeing. So I'm curious. I will read more. I'm going to go ahead and give this one three and a half out of five nerds calls. Mm -hmm.